Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us to understand a little bit more about what's next in the world of Viva Topics. I'm Naomi Moneypenny. I lead product development for the for Viva Topics, and we're excited to share with you just a sneak peek of some of the things that are coming up. This is one of a couple of videos that we do every quarter or so, and so please do check out the other appearances that we've had from previous quarters, as well as understanding what's new and already shipped this quarter. First off, I'm going to hand it over to Akash, who's going to tell us about some exciting resources that we have available for you. Hey folks, thank you, Naomi. We have some exciting resources for you to get started with your topics adoption journey. First off, we have the pilot guide. This is a helpful guide with all the strategies and tactics you need to be successful in piloting topics for your tenant. We have notes for each stage and pointers to help you plan your actions. We also have an adoption guide with suggested timelines and the best practices to help you build your knowledge base to deliver more value in a much faster pace. We hope you check these resources out and they would enable the best use of topics for your tenants. With this, I pass it off to Naomi again. All right, we wanted to share just a little bit about what is coming next. And so we're excited to have both this idea of the expanded view of what we're doing with topics. So you may be very familiar that we deliver topics to you in the flow of work by the method of using a, a card that helps to understand the resources, the people, and the connections that you're made inside of an organization. And so with this, we're actually expanding that card even further. Now you'll be able to have lightweight contribution that you'll be able to do directly from that card. It'll be awesome not to be able to actually go through and break your flow of work in order to make a quick edit or update. Say you want to add an acronym or a project name or just update a quick uh, definition in there, you'll be able to do that directly from this card as well. Now, the mission of this card is expanding even further, and we're bringing to life with this a co-pilot experience here. Of course, this has been a big direction over the last few months for the whole of Microsoft, and maybe you've seen some of the announcements that we've had for Microsoft Viva generally and all of the goodness that we're bringing together with Copilot. So with Topics, one of the great things we want to do is make that Copilot experience available to you directly from this card. So the card is expanded here. It's helping you to understand you know, the alternate, alternate names for this particular topic. It shows that definitions, it shows me the different people and the resources that are connected. Now we're going to take it to that next level and say, hey, I can do interactive questions and answers directly from this experience too. So without breaking any of my flow of work directly from Teams, inside of Outlook, SharePoint, etc., being able to do all of those questions and answers and understand the resources that are available. Now, of course, we're not stopping there. We want to make sure that even when you're on those topic pages, we are also bringing that to life on this experience too. And not only being able to ask questions and answers to be able to consume the knowledge that you have inside of your organization, we also want to help you to actually curate and make those definitions better too. And so one of the areas here is actually being able to generate new content for that definition based on all of the goodness that's been connected to that topic. So all of those different resources. And now, of course, the Viva Topics AI can help summarize those resources, suggest some different areas here, maybe even ask some questions and answers that are frequent about this particular topic. And all of that can be appended quickly, but with human review in there too. So it's a really exciting time to be able to bring all of those co-pilot experiences to life and bring what's next into what we're doing with topics. Now let's hand over to Manika. She's going to talk about some of the analytics and dashboards that we have coming up. Yes, thank you, Naomi. Let's shift from co-pilot to some analytics we're bringing into product. Our team has been working really hard on these for a while now, and we're very eager to get it out to you. So first is this adoption health dashboard, and it has five metrics to help knowledge managers and admins track their progress to a healthy adoption of topics. We provide this insight in the form of these five metrics and an overall tracker as well, but we also provide recommended actions so you know what actions you need to take to get to an even healthier state. There's no more confusion about what to do, what the best practices are. It's all available to you right there in the product. And moving along, we also want to provide you with insight about how people are using and engaging with topics in your organization. So you'll see really great metrics like site counts, trends, um, and this usage and engagement that will help you visualize and analyze the overall value of topics in your organization. So this one will be available in the admin center and topic center as well, coming hopefully really soon now. So we're really excited about these. Um, I'll pass it along to Eric now to talk about search. Thank you, Manika. So you, you may have already seen topic search results within Microsoft uh, internal searches on the web. But we're also integrating topics into search results for Bing Mobile, as well as the Windows search box on your desktop. 
this is part of our continuing journey to make sure that the topics show up wherever you work. Uh, so that way you don't have to leave the flow of your work to, to discover knowledge. Um, and with that, I would point you guys to the, the what's new video to see what's already been launched. If you haven't already done so um, to review, you know, to recap, we've talked about what's coming in in future releases, but um, to get an update on what's already launched, refer to that other video. And as we alluded to at the top of the call, there's a variety of resources that you can refer to to understand how to um, adopt topics within your organizations. So plenty of awesome resources for knowledge managers in terms of rolling out topics and, and getting people, getting that initial flywheel of usage started within your organizations. And with that, we'll end the presentation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.